Okay, here we're uh, solving two-step linear inequality again, but this time we have a fraction for our coefficient uh, for the variable. So let's go ahead and rewrite our inequality. And we have um, negative, oops, I have a negative 8 is less than negative 6u over 5 plus 8. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have here. Um, we have our u, so we know we want to isolate our u eventually, but that's, we have to first isolate the term that contains our variable that we're trying to isolate. So let's get that by itself first. So what am I doing to that whole term? Well, I'm adding 8 to it, so in order for me to get it by itself, I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides. Okay, so 8 minus 8 gives me a 0, so that goes away and I have a negative 6u over 5 and I have a minus 8, a negative 8 minus an 8 so I actually have a negative 16, right? It's not 0, negative 8, take away another 8 is going to be more negative so I have a negative 16. So let's take a look at this term here. I want to isolate that u by itself. We should think to ourselves, so think negative 6u over 5 is the same. I'm going to take the coefficient is negative 6 fifths. So I'm just going to go ahead and write it as negative 6 fifths and I'm going to bring the u out there because that's really what I'm saying. The coefficient for my u is negative 6 fifths. So I'll rewrite it as negative 6 fifths u equals neg uh, is greater than negative 16, right? So this is greater than that. Now, in order for me to get my u by itself, I want to multiply it by the reciprocal, right? So the, neg the reciprocal of 6 fifths is 5 6, but it's still negative because I have to multiply by the same sign, right? So that means I have to multiply this side by negative 5 6 as well. Okay, but when I do that, remember I'm multiplying now by a negative number, so I have to swap out, I have to change my inequality sign, right, because of this negative number here. So all of these cancel, which is what I wanted. I get u, and this is the same as negative 16 over 1. Right, so I look for factors that go into both 6 and 16, and I know 2 goes into 6 3 times, 2 goes into 16 8 times. So I have a negative 5 times a negative 8. That gives me a positive 40 and my denominator is th 3. So my answer is u, negative 40 over 3 is greater than u. But remember I like to write it so that my u, my variable, comes first. I keep the side, if it's a small side that's pointing towards my u, I make sure it's still pointing towards my u and I get u is less than negative, uh, I'm sorry, u is less than 40 thirds. So these two are the same, right? Notice that I swapped out my signs and I switched the order. For this next inequality, let's rewrite it. I have negative 4 less than or equal to 3 minus 7 sixths w. Well, they made it nice. They've already put my coefficient out in front of my variable. Okay. So again, I want to isolate the term with the variable first. So out here I have a, this is a plus 3, right? So I want to get rid of that. So I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. So I have a negative 7. It's less than or equal to, my 3's cancel, I have a negative 7 sixths w. To get my variable by itself, I'm going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of that coefficient. Reciprocal of negative 7 6 is negative 6 sevenths. I'm going to do that over here too. 
And remember, this is a negative 7 over 1, right? But if I do that, because I'm multiplying by a negative number, and only because it's negative, I need to swap out my inequality sign. So now I can go ahead and proceed with the math. These all cancel, so I get w is less than. And over here I have a negative 6 times a negative 7 divided by a negative 7. My 7's cancel, right? So that goes 1 and 1. So I simply have a negative 6 times a negative 1, and I have a 6. So that's my answer. 6 is greater than or equal to w. Remember, I like to keep my variable on the left-hand side, so I keep the, the inequalities. The, the big side is facing the 6, so I have w is less than or equal to 6.